Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Midas DN4816 O connected to the Behringer Wing via Stage Connect. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the Midas DN4816 O is a 16 line level output device that Midas has made for their Stage Connect series. Now, Stage Connect allows us to send 32 channels of inputs or outputs, or any combination of the two, down one single XLR line. Now, this is all digital information, so Midas does suggest that you use a DMX-style data cable for this XLR connection, as it's all digital instead of being analog. But let's actually show you all of the connections on this device real quick. So here is our device here, and we have 16 XLR outputs across the front of this DN16 O. On the left-hand side, we have a Stage Connect light. Now, if this is green, that means that the network is all working well. If it is red, then there is an error, and you should figure out what's going on. On the right-hand side, we have our power light. Now, speaking of power, if we flip this around to the back, we have the ability of powering this over DC, or you can power via Stage Connect. So our Stage Connect XLR line also can supply power to devices. Now, there is an app that you can download off of Mida's website for calculating if you need to have multiple power supplies or not in the line. And so I suggest downloading that and using that. Our next thing is our USB, which allows us to update our firmware. We also have our Ultranet input and output, as well as our Stage Connect input and output. Now, master means that if this is the first device in the line, we would want to have our device plugged in from here into the next unit, and then this would need to be on master. If we have this being connected into our Behringer wing, then this would be connected via our slave, and then our switch would need to be set to slave. Ultranet means that we can use our Ultranet output out of a device like the X32, which I have a video specifically set on using the Ultranet input here to be able to send 16 channels in on the Ultranet out of the X32 and then have our 16 channels on the back side of the board. So if that was the case, we would need to be on Ultranet. But this video is about getting this thing working on the Behringer wing, so this is going to be set to slave. Our output mode is the next switch that we have here. Now, if we had multiple lines of these connected in the same line, we can have these sharing all of the outputs. So if there was only 16 outputs on that stage connect line, if this is set to shared, all of the outputs of this is going to be shared with the remaining units that are set to shared. If it's on individual, and if we had two of these devices connected, that would mean that we would have 32 outputs instead of just 16. So let's go ahead and actually get this connected into our Behringer wing. I have my Stage Connect line right here, and this is just a normal XLR cable, and we are going to plug this into our slave input. Once we do that, and we flip this around to the other side here, we will notice that our Stage Connect light will turn green because it's all good, and then we have our power light over here as well. Now that we have the Midas DN4816 O connected into our Stage Connect line, let's actually do some settings on the Behringer wing. Hit the routing button, and then go to our outputs. If Stage Connect is not selected, go to your output group and go ahead and select Stage Connect. And as we can see that we have, we have one device in this line, which is our DN4816 O. Now, we have this Stage Connect configuration, and it is going to be set to auto at this point, which means that it is going to navigate however many channels on inputs and outputs that the Behringer wing thinks is appropriate. If you had an 8x8, eight, eight, uh, 8 inputs and 8 outputs selected here, then it would go ahead and do an auto configuration of that. Now, we have our 16 outputs here, so it is going to automatically select it to be outputs in this chain. Now, one thing that I suggest is if you have multiple devices, go ahead and select this in your settings here. So if we had 16 inputs and 16 outputs selected on our network on this Stage Connect, then I would go down and scroll down to 16 out, 16 in, and select that. 
and then we can see that there is 16 available outputs available to us for routing to. In this case, since we only have one unit on this, we can either leave it on 16 out and 16 in, or go ahead and select auto. Once we have that, we have our ability of routing to this. So we can go ahead and unlock and press plus one auto, allowing us to patch a lot faster. And so say I wanted to send my main PA to my stage connect outputs one and two, I would simply go ahead and select one and then go ahead and patch my outputs. Now, if I wanted to put my stream outputs on 15 and 16, I can go ahead and select 15 and go and patch those. Now, if you're wondering about setting up multiple devices on the same Stage Connect line, I have a video coming up for you explaining all of that. If you do happen to have any questions, make sure you post in the comment section below. Also, if there is a video that you're hoping that I will make on any of the production products that are out there, feel free to drop that in the comment section below, as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.